I'm Vishwajit. I'm 17 and let's talk about the various ways how can we overcome the problems and challenges that we always face in the stages of our life. Well, let's talk about first teenage. As an adolescent, I can tell you that we all can agree on one point that this was the, or is for me, the toughest time of our lives. Well, a plethora of changes, whether emotionally, physically or mentally, the imbalance of hormones. Well, don't you think if there was someone who could have guided about it or told about their experience or how we are going to have these changes, the transition from childhood to adolescence could have been a little smoother. But well, there wasn't someone, but let's talk about childhood then. We always reminisce about our childhood so much. We feel that it was the one of the best times of our life. Well, indeed it was. But we always forget to mention that this childhood was the time when we were taught all the misconcepts, misbeliefs, mis or disbeliefs, the stereotypes or the biases. I'm giving you just two examples. The very first instance, which happened very recently during this pandemic only. Like in many of the housing societies or apartments, people started pasting instructions asking uh, the domestic workers, the food delivery persons or meal delivery persons to not use the society premises for even basic ne uh, needs. Like they were barred from using the elevators, they were barred from, barred from sitting on the benches. You might be thinking that infection could have been the reason. But no, infection was just an excuse. Because if you think about it, these things happened earlier also, even in pre-COVID times. And they happen still now. And if we want to change this cycle, we have to stop it. I'm giving you another example. Like when someone from outside, like the same person, whether your security guard or the same food delivery persons come to your house and ask for a glass of water. What was the instant reaction of your parents? Just take a glass, an old glass from the corner of the shelf and give them. Or even in many places they have separate utensils for those people. Don't you think this is where the problem starts? What knowledge are we imparting to our children? Because children are very, very innocent. And whatever the society, the surrounding teaches them, they learn that. And we have to change that. As adolescents, as teenagers and the future of our today, we have to change this cycle. And the solution to this is unlearning. And most of the times, unlearning is considered to be a very difficult thing. But if you remember, we unlearned the scientific models, the models of the atoms and chemistry, the theory of evolutions. So why is unlearning a very difficult thing? As a child, I had to face many problems and many challenges. And all of you can relate with me those challenges like whether being called by names as an insult, being slut shamed or being called out for even being friendly with your same sex or even the opposite sex. These were the common things that happened with every child but yet our society ignored it. And we are often asked, ignore it, the problem will go away, don't complain or brag about it. But ignoring this small problems gives rise to the bigger problem. Whether it is misogyny, homophobia, casteism, classism, these all things happen and then we wonder ourselves, why did this happen? Whether while watching the television or while reading the newspaper. We very simply ask, why did this happen? But we never try to find the root of this problem. And unlearning is the solution to that. Let's unlearn so that we can bring the change that we all want. And I can assure you, what is correct today might not be correct in few decades. But unlearning gives us that opportunity to evolve with time. And education will alone, alone not help us to get away from this. Because in very recent times we have seen the most educated people coming from the highest of the highest elite universities or even the leader of the greatest of greatest nations often committing blunders. So unlearning as well as education are very important. Let's unlearn so that we can teach our upcoming generation, so that they don't have to complain about these all things. Let's unlearn so that we can teach them the importance of consent, privacy and freedom. Let's unlearn so that we can teach them that they have to learn to do their own chores. There is no one coming to help them. They have to be responsible themselves. They have to know that respect is earned and not just determined by the factor of age. They have to know that work and hobbies are not just based on genders. Do whatever your heart likes and be yourself. And the type of clothes you wear, the way you look should not matter to anyone. 
let's unlearn so that we can bring the change that we all want and teenagers can do that because we are a generation who is privileged to have technology internet and information just a touch away and hence we can do it let's unlearn so that we can bring the change that we always want thank you very very much